I'm just doing a little sound check here. Can you guys hear me okay? I set up a new mic, got a little something something going on here. So I was just wondering if you guys can still, can you guys can hear me okay? Let me know. Let me know in the live chat if you guys can hear me okay. Headset. Okay, sound is good. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Audio is on. You guys can hear the music. You can hear me, desktop audio. What? Ah, you guys know how scared I am of a mic problem. Boom, just sold another book. Okay, so why can't that is Motherfucker Tools options. I just need a couple more minutes. You listen to some music. I'm just trying to work out <clears throat> It worked yesterday Okay That should be that Uh, all right well all of that is that is uh sounds crisp okay you look handsome with that headset on <coughs> what a disaster richie rich ah oh, dude richie rich i had your cartoons when i was a kid Oh, dude, the Finland thing. You guys had the, you guys had a, it was a stabbing. Was that you guys in a stabbing? I do hate headsets. I do hate headsets, but I'll tell you this headset. Okay. So listen, listen, Finland, it's a disaster everywhere. I know how to solve the terrorist problems, but you know, you can't do it when, and I'm a Trump fan, but you can't do it when, uh, when uh, you're angry and you don't like people, you gotta like people to be able to stop terrorism. That's what this is all about. Okay, so let's see. Um, black spots keep coming in on seedling and other spots. I don't know anything about black spots on seeds. Um, 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 oh, so I have this headset. Check this shit out. This is my new store cam. Check this out. In fact, you guys should tell me you should be able to hear me all the way throughout the store. I'm coming over here now. I'm in literally like the back corner of my store. And uh, you should be able to hear me now. Like all the way in the back corner of my store. Because I got my wireless headset on. Boom. That's working. This is working. Let me shut the back door. Good grief. Mm. So much to do at the hydro store. So much to do. Never ends. Okay. All right. So, very nice. Yes. Oh, dude, the store looks good. The sound is good. Check this out. I even have this demonstration station. Check this out. It's super funny. So let's say you guys have a question. Boom, check this out. I got this nice table. We could take this product right here. We could open it up. We could mix it with some water. I could show you how to use it. This is my QVC station. <laughs> check it out. We got all this stuff in the store. And then I got like this little product station that we could mix nutrients and open stuff up with. That works out pretty well for me. And that's why I got a... Uh, <laughs> that's what oh there's one more thing that i put together um you'll love this one this is my wander cam i can now put on a camera and take you with me anywhere in the store like there's another computer up front there's another monitor up front where i can watch what i'm doing on it so i can come back to this corner of the store and you guys oh What's that? You'd like to see how the store looks from over here? You want to see my security counter? There's the security counter. Boom. Look at that little security cabinet, I mean. 
there's like the products you can see, right? I've been working on my shelves. I got my soil aisle going on. Oh yeah, dude. So I've got this TV that shows me what's going on for the webcast, right? I got Ralph, who always knows, er, look at you got my treat. And then I got this camera here. I mean, this monitor here that shows me my webcast and I've got my QVC monitor. So when I'm over here doing QVC, like I can see this monitor right here. <laughs> this is what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks in the store, remodeling and uh, getting all this stuff done just so I could dick around. Oh, dude, David, I'm MCSE. I'm MCT. I'm a certified Microsoft trainer. I teach the people who run Microsoft. I mean, who run Microsoft software and stuff in, the, in their offices. I've always been a nerd. Nerds are cool now. Oh, yeah. So, that's funny. Life through the grow boss. <laughs> Ah, you know, the more I do this with you guys, the more I like it. I was worried at first, like this was going to turn into the dog park people. You know, dog park people where the dogs play in the park and they narrate. And they narrate like what the dogs are doing. Oh, look at those two dogs wrestling. Oh, oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, you don't stand a chance. Um, Yeah, I was like. I was afraid like I was going to turn into like a dog park person, something like that. <laughs> but listen, I got to tell you when I get emails, I'll show you something. Let me, let me grab this image. Let me, let me download this image. I'll read you something. Um, let me, and of course if uh, 705, good morning. What can I do for you? 705 you're on with the grow boss good morning good morning what's going on oh wait leaves or seeds Okay, are there, hey, let me, hang on, hang on one sec. Um, let me, let me, I can hear you. Oh, you can't, we can't hear the caller. Okay, okay, give me one sec. Let me see, maybe this thing is on. Check, check, that's my mic. Okay, hey, caller, say check, something check. again. Check, check, can you guys hear me now? Nope, nope, nope. No, okay, so I've got you. I've got you. No guest sound. Can't hear the caller. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, no. It's it's me. So here's desktop audio. Let me... Listen, we did a lot of changes. So there's Grow Boss Cam, Grow Boss Wireless, Mic Aux. Let me try... I think... Let me try to add audio input capture. Let me try this. Okay. Caller, give me a 10 count. Okay, so, oh, so you know the disaster that I am. <laughs> okay, all right, listen, hey, who's calling me the sham wow guy? Damn it, damn it, I told you soon as I put on the microphone headset, someone is going to call me the sham wow guy. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. So broke again. You had it. Okay. So I've got, oh, Mike right here. Okay. So I've got you on the mic. I've got, there is no producer. This guy, it's me. Okay. So I heard the caller when you first, I'm the producer. I'm the, yeah, the whole thing. Okay. So 
I got him back on. I think I understand what went wrong. Let me uh, take a sec. Okay, so you're getting black spots on your leaves. Okay, so let me ask you this. Are there gray spots next to the black dots? Uh, it's not, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you've got gray spots next to black dots, you have thrips. There is nothing else that does it. The black dots are their poop. Black dots, poop. Gray. Okay. So, I mean, there is there is nothing else that it is. Yes. Um, all right. Give me. I'm almost done with uh, th my thing. Okay. Uh, ch ch okay. I believe I got your audio up on all the channels. There's Mike Ox 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 Ox. Okay. So I think I fixed the problem for you. Um, turn up the volume. No, turn up the volume on the caller. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. So, in, in fact. Um, Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I got the, okay. Wait, I think I, listen for all the callers. Okay. So tell, you can't hear the caller. So the caller's mic is here. I have my desktop audio up. I hear the background music now. Um, okay. So you hear, do you hear this? Do you hear the music? Well, it's a it's a thirty second delay. Okay, so the Grow Boss Wireless, the mic aux is up all the way. Okay, so I've been trying to play boss it up. I do read the hey Angel, I do read the comments. I listen, I seriously try. No caller sound. Okay, turn up the volume on the caller. Okay, okay. So music. Okay, I got the music. Uh, <laughs> okay, so plus I. I set it up with the wireless this week, so I had to change stuff this week. So, music, yes. Music and your voice are good. Caller, give me a 10 count so they can tell me if uh, they can hear you. Okay, yes. Let's, uh, we'll give thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't even know where the thumbs up or thumbs down is. Bah, okay. So not, okay, caller's not loud enough. Okay, so let me, so Grow Boss is up all the way. Let me, desktop audio is up all the way. Trump sucks. I See, I like Trump but he's not the guy for the job. No, no fucking caller. Okay, so the caller's on N3. Desktop, desktop, grow boss cam, Mike Oggs. Bah. So much technology. It's just killing. Can hear, but real low. Okay, oh, thumbs up and thumbs down. No caller. Okay, so I've got everything turned up. I've got my sound set to the TV because I can... No, no, it, it's always me. <laughs> it's always me. So the phone number down, Grow Boss Wireless, mic up, desktop audio up, 10 minute introduction, Grow Boss Cam off, off, Grow Boss Wireless monitor off, monitor off, monitor and output, 10 minute introduction. Blah! Okay. Good morning, Ontario. I know you did something and it came out when he said check. So I've got, so this is speakers. So I've got him on speakers. I've got his sh show saved. So I've got him on there. I can hear him on mine. There's music that comes through desktop audio, but I don't seem to have, yeah. oh, 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 microphone. 
multifunction webcam. So, so properties for my ox. Is this it? No, this is me on that channel. Son of a bitch. I. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. But the problem is, I. Dude. Grow boss cam. Ten minutes ago, you grow up. My my boss. Okay. Good. 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 You got it. Whatever it is. I'm. Good. Good. We're good. Was good. Son of a bitch, you had it. No echo. Oh. Right there. Okay. There you had it for a second. Right there. It's because I didn't talk in between when they started saying no, it's because of some talking. That's him. We got it. Music there we go. And you were loud and clear. There we go. Boom. Fixed. Full time. All right. I concur. Okay, girl boss. I'm going to let you go. I got to go. Okay. Spray with uh, pretty much anything for thrifts. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use some neem oil. Um, remember now, neem oil doesn't kill anything; it just pisses stuff off. So you're gonna want something like an SNS 203 or a GA Jasmax, all right? <coughs> oh, okay, okay. So and remember, whenever you spray anything on your plants, whenever you spray anything on your plants, one, do it when the echo can hear. Oh, you can hear the fan. Jeez, you can hear the fan. I like that fan blowing on me. Ah. Okay, let's try it like that. Okay. That worked. Okay, you're in the can. You made the shit worse. Bah! Okay, so Mike Ox default. What the fuck? Okay, so this is the Grow Boss. Can you guys hear me now? This is. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Um. Sound is still fuzzy. Sounds like the Oscar the Grouch in a trash can. I love Oscar the Grouch. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. Thumbs up. Potsy's advice is solid. Swap the bulbs. Oh, good. Same. Yes, yes. You sound like you're in a cave, boss. Leave it be. Yes, yes. Boom. Now better. Now is coming from the headset clearly. Okay. And listen, I just did a show yesterday where, where it wasn't... It wasn't working where it did work and then uh, okay hang on a sec let me make sure my my new microphone is up uh, yeah yeah let me just get this back up uh, okay okay I think that should get me Bah! I still can't hear the introduction. Fuck. I don't know what I did yesterday, but after everything was working, I played with it. So, yeah. Okay. Sounds okay on with the show. A show yesterday. Oh, you know, we were talking about Cannabis Hotline. In fact, uh, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of internet. No, we don't want this one. Um, let's close this. Close. Close. Fuck, did I just did I just close my live stream? Okay, so Creator Studio live streaming. Let's make sure I got my live streaming going. Oh don't tell me I just I just cut okay. Well, I was stuck offline and it was working just fine. On with the show, a Motley Crew supporter. Okay. The number is 84 Grow Boss, but then shit, I'm not even sure anymore today. Okay, so I'll show you what I was doing yesterday. Check this. Oh, dude, this was uh, the Bushmaster. Okay, and then this guy sends me a picture. Let's, let me open this up. This guy sends me a picture. I'll read you the email. This guy sends me this picture in an email yesterday. Logie just pulled these out after two weeks. I used Orca and Clonex solution like you recommended. 313, give me one sec. Like you recommended when we spoke. Thanks for all your tips and recommendations on my setup. I put the cloner on 15 on, 15 off timer at first and switched to 1530 after the first week. I could not be happier with the results. 
Thanks a lot, Grow Boss. You're the man. Dude, check out those roots. I'm telling you, it's not just like I made a video with the Bushmaster, you know, with those roots. I mean, here's another guy telling us that, oh, shit, that's after two weeks. So I'm just saying that those turbo cloners kick fucking ass. Okay, 313, you've got a question. Let's try this out. Hey, good morning, Grow Boss. How are you today? Good morning. All right. Hey, uh, I have a question about. My question is about uh, the life cycle at the end of harvest. Now I understand some people take their plant and put it in the dark for two or three days right before harvest, and then I just recently read where some guy is taking his plants and turning the light down instead of putting them in the dark for three days. He's changing the light cycle down either at eight, nine, or 10 hours at the last week before harvest, before you chop. What do you think of that? Is that a common thing to do, or is it something that they're just trying to find out for more resin production? I, I don't, I always ask you guys this. I got tomatoes from Walmart that come from Mexico. I'm a thousand miles from Mexico. Why aren't the tomatoes rotted. Why? Because they pick them before they're ripe. So what we're talking about is a couple of things. Um, it sounds like a couple of things. Oh, you know what? Maybe because I'm sitting on the remote control in the, on the remote signal that you guys okay, maybe it's because my wireless thing is. Let's try to put it up here. See if that works better. Okay. So what I tell you guys is this. After 12 weeks what the fuck do you think is going to happen? You're not going to double the THC. Also, the reality is, it all happens at the end. When you dry it, it's not the same thing as curing it. So curing takes time. Right. That's why Mexi That's why tomatoes that come from Mexico don't rot because they pick them before they're ripe and they cure on the way over. So let's not confuse curing with drying. First off, <coughs> second off, let's 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 be realistic about this. I mean, after 12, 16 weeks, I mean, what is hanging it upside down? Um, what is hanging it upside down? Do you think it's going to catch you? Have you ever looked at a bud and said, "Dude, why didn't you hang this upside down in the dark?" Was <laughs> was this bud? Was this bud hung upside down in the dark? Was it, which nutrient was it? Was it an LED? Was it a T5? Was it, what? Tell me anything about this bud. Did I buy it off a Mexican from the corner at the park? I mean, what is this bud? And that's why I tell you guys, there's a lot of stuff that people want to tell you. <coughs> okay, so you can hear it right. just fine. I'll work out. Well, I mean, thing. I know your advice. Sorry, I, I was talking to the law chat. Pretty much spot on. Yeah. Oh. Um, no. I, no. I don't know if it's the... Hey, wait, hang you on a second. Hang, hang on a second. With I don't know if it's the uh, humming or the new mic. I didn't get this a little bit yesterday, but I'll work it out today and for tomorrow's show, hopefully it won't be here. I'll even call in my consultant to see if he can do it. Um, um, okay. But for today, it is what it is going to be. Okay, so 313, what I'd like to point out is there's nothing that's going to happen at the end that's going to change anything. Could you hang it in the dark? Yes. Could you hang it in the light? Yes. Unless you can tell me, <clears throat> when you look at this butt, should I be like, oh, look for purple spotting with green stripes, and then you'll know that they hung it in the dark. That's why I always tell you guys, before you worry about something, ask yourself, if I do it this way or this way, what will the results be? For instance, if I cure it in the light, what will the results be compared to if I cure it in the dark? I have no idea what the difference is. Because, frankly, there is no label that says cure in the dark. When you buy it from a facility, they don't tell you how it's cured. In fact, they push it through. Oh, there's a lot of buttons. In fact, they push it through machines that just trim it and shit it. Ah, uh, that's oh. 
see what I'm saying? Like, all the magic happens yeah, while you're see. still growing. Uh -huh. Okay, so I should be. Well, it really doesn't matter, basically, is what you're saying. At the end, is at the end. There's nothing more that can be done outside of what the genetics are giving. Outside of how you as a grower, how your talent as a grower expresses those genetics. Because there's a competition where they give 20 growers the same cut from the same plant. And the buds don't look the same. I mean, it's just not... It's, it's just not, not different. Yeah, it's just not... It's just not the same. Okay, so I'm actually going to turn off the fan. So we're going to see if it is the fan. Turn off the fan completely. Now we're going to see if it is the fan. So what I what I like to suggest is this: make sure that you make sure that you don't have too many nutrients before you uh, before well, you flush. You're going it. Yeah, straight. yeah, that's the best thing I can offer oh, well. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've just been going pretty much. They got a full full feeding on their last feeding, which was week six. Right. But up until then, if they said give them twelve milliliters, I was giving them eight. You know, so I do know not to give them a full line of nutrients through the whole grow. I only give it to them at the end, and then I flush real good for two weeks. But I'm at the end of my second week flushing, so. Like I said, I read the other day where a guy was dropping his life cycle down to represent the end is coming to because I got a couple of sativas and they're taking a little bit longer to finish than the rest of the indica. So I was trying to get them on par with the same right in time. But it doesn't work like oh, that. But it doesn't work you. like that. Because no, you have, but you have an indica and a sativa. That's why I tell you of a kind of a size under a light. Okay. Well, I'm glad I called you and, and got your, your word on it before I do it. <laughs> um, what, what, how much light do you have? A great deal. I'm how, under 2,000 watts right now. You're under 2,000 watts. So, what I always tell you guys is max Q, um, that's max Q. That's max light, max PPM, as close as the light is ever going to get. And max Q is at week six flower, maybe week four, but max Q is definitely week six flower. So you have a one, you have two 1,000 watt lights. What was your max PPM? What did you feed PPM? Um, I think our PPM max was a thousand. I didn't run my uh, CO2 real high. I didn't run. You know, I went with mostly 750 to 1,000. Um, okay, so you're on track. If you know that you should be at max Q at max <clears throat> max nutrients and max light at week 6, and you're at 1,000 ppm at week 6, then you're probably doing pretty good because you know all the other stuff too. So things are probably yes. coming along nice for you, right? Okay. Yes, they are, they are beautiful. They really are. <laughs> Thanks to you. I appreciate that. only you because I got a lot of friends who've done this for years and I feel like I'm way better than them and this is just my third harvest coming up. So only the first one was a trial and error, wasn't that bad, but you know, the second one was great and the third one is is, is beautiful. And I I wish that when I come to Vegas next year, I'm coming to your store and thank you in person. And, I mean, you're great, man. You do. You're, you're the best thing out for anybody who's trying to get their medication so, you know, their pain can be a lot better, you know, because you get real in debt more than anybody. Any book that I've read, any YouTube video I've seen, you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I totally appreciate that. Thank you for the call. I'm super glad I could help you. Um, I just, I didn't get the call from, uh, I think it was 703 that was just trying to call. Call me back. Um, and then uh, I'll take your call too. I'll tell you guys, I had somebody come in here yesterday. Um, I'll get you maybe the laptop mic, desktop audio mic. No, I've got everything muted. 
I believe I have everything muted. Desktop mic, audio mic, all these are muted except for me. Uh, yeah, okay, anyway, so it is going to be what it is for the show. It's listenable, though. Let us know when you're coming to Vegas. All right, maybe the laptop mic. No, okay, so I got 952. 952, I, let me do this question, and then I'll tell you guys a story about a customer that I had yesterday. 952, good morning. Good morning, Grobos. I had a quick question, actually, too. I was wondering, just growing for myself, um, I know you talked about growing in soil, you need a certain amount of light. I was wondering if I'm going to do a scrub, what size tent would be the uh, appropriate for the minimum amount of light for growing in soil? And also, with the T5 bulbs, do you have to change them? And how often would you change them out for efficiency? And I'll just hang up and let you answer. Um, well, don't actually hang up yet because you missed the important detail to start off with, and that is, um, how much yield do you want? I'm only looking for like the fifth half pound at a time. Okay, so like a half pound, do you have? Are you in a state where you can go and buy clones? Yes. Okay, then don't buy a veg. What you'll do is you'll go out and you'll just buy ten clones. You'll veg for two weeks and then you'll flower them under a T5 like this. Four foot, eight bulb, T5, you only have to change the bulbs once a year. I mean, it's T5. So you only have to change the bulbs once a year. Um, in terms of that, I mean, I think you're, I, I don't think all you have to do is hang this from like the, the, the clothes bar in your closet, right? I mean, that's, that's all the space those T5 lights require. Okay, well, thanks so much. Yes, sir. All right, I got 812. You're on with the Grow Boss. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, I spoke with you last week. I had that uh, grow that's a, a 4 by 3 and you had recommended 400 watts. You said that the, the T5 with the 8 bulb. I just had a question. I have a 400 watt uh, high pressure sodium dimmable ballast. Would it be okay if I use that? It's that air tube, the cooled one where you can you know, suck the air through the light. I don't care about the cool tube. I find the cool tube to be a silly thing. I don't even buy them used anymore when they come in my store. Um, I don't buy them for $5 anymore, even if they have the little thing on top, because the glass is what makes the room so hot. So I tend to uh, I tend to shy away from cool tubes, but listen, you already have it, so I don't care. The two questions I need to ask are, one, how high is the space that you're growing in. It's four by three, but how tall? Uh, it's five foot. Right, and there's the rub. See, you've got a five foot space. If you've got a one foot bucket and a one foot hood, you've got three feet left. If you grow a two foot plant, you're in trouble with an HID. However, if you have a five foot room and you use a two inch T5, you take off one foot for the bucket, two feet for the plant, and you're still got some space to keep your plant away from the light. So the hood thing is a problem because you would have to, I uh, can't see it from here, you would have to uh, get a super sized hood. You know, one of the big ones, like the raptor sized hoods. The problem with the raptor sized hood is they're 12 inches tall. 12 inches tall in a five inches space, in a five foot space is, uh, well, you know my opinion about light and distance. So I would say that a T5 would be more appropriate for the space for no other reason than it's cooler and it's shorter. By 80%, it's shorter. And in a five foot limit, you need, you need, uh, you need, oh, Queen B. Queen B. Um, I was going to do that seed thing where you veg it for like a week and then go straight into flower. That was my plan. That was that's a good plan, but I just want to point out that a sea of green is still going. If if you were going to go buy twenty plants, let's say, you would veg for one week and then you would start flowering them. But you still have nine weeks, and they're still going to get eighteen to twenty inches tall in that time. One foot bucket, two foot plant, one foot hood. Sorry, uh -oh. one foot one foot bucket two foot plant, one foot hood, and your plants finish one foot away from a 400 watt HID light. Will it work? Yeah. Will they get hot? Hell yeah. 
Will it cook it? It's tough to say. I mean, maybe you're somewhere where you open up the window on your igloo and it's 30 degrees. So I'm just saying that you have this, this limitation. And that's why when people say, I want to grow the best bud, I go, what the fuck does that even mean? You want to grow great bud, right? But to grow great bud, you have this limitation that a lot of people don't have. You have a height restriction. So let's take grow great bud off the table and let's grow in the space. And once you look at growing in the space, we go, okay, T5, five foot, small bucket you know maybe you could even do a, a long pan instead of a one foot bucket you could do something you know like a tote like a short tote or something like that <clears throat> i mean that that's something to consider too do it more like a garden but uh i'm just suggesting that you're probably going to want to end up 18 inches away from the light see what i'm saying right okay all right well i was going to go with the t5 then uh yeah i think it's just Smarter ranch at this point. Yes, and and listen, I appreciate the call, and it is exactly the call that LEDs don't cost a lot. Um, and I'm going to tell you a story about the customer that I had come in. I think I tossed two customers yesterday. Um, um, Queen Bee, I got your uh, I got your pictures. I just haven't had the time to put them in a folder and prep them for the show, but I got them this morning from in your email. Um, okay, so they get out of Uber. It's 21 year old, five foot five, 135 pound dude, baby, adorable little kid, blue eyes, little short, adorable hair, baby under one arm and like a, a little bit taller, thin, long haired girlfriend, you know, good looking female, good looking male, um, and they want, they've got questions. They are, they are ready to start growing and they were recommended to me by somebody else. And I'll tell you when people recommend somebody to me, a lot of times they recommend somebody because, uh, they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're they don't want to deal with them. <laughs> so when people show up and they're like, Hey, somebody recommended me to you. It like goes one of two ways, right? <clears throat> so the first thing he tells me. We've got no money. I said, that's great. You guys shouldn't do this hobby. I mean, I'm just going to lead with that one, right? You guys shouldn't do this hobby because, um, oh, donation count from last week. Yes, sir. Let me do that right now while you just brought that up because I just want to, um, let me just throw this up. Uh, oh, dude, that kid yesterday and his girlfriend. I feel bad for him because he's going to end up watching her move off when as soon as the instant she grows up okay um okay so this one let's go to internet and i just want to say so there's my 250 donation right there right there so i made it the anonymous 250 we got what we get we got six 20s a 30 and a 100 so 120 1 120 150 250 yeah so there is my, there was my matching donation for that one. So that's, <clears throat> I do, I totally appreciate everybody that did this last time with last week with me. I totally appreciate it. I thought it came out really good. I mean, you know, I, I appreciate that from last week. And, and while I, I'm glad you guys can see that I spent the money on it too, I'm glad that as a group that we could put the whole thing together and do it like that. Okay, so I wonder if I turn this off. If you guys, um, if you guys can still hear me, is this better right now? Better, better, better. Check, check. Is this better? All right, I'm gonna turn it back on the way. Okay, so they come to the store and start telling me they got no money. They got a plant. It's a month old. Started from seed. It's a little, little thing. They're, uh, they're doing this, and I'm like, listen, man, you guys got a kid. What, what, are, what are you doing? Trying to grow dope? Oh, we've got medical conditions. So, oh, much better, perfect. Okay, so I will mute this and I'll have to deal with that for a caller for a sec. Okay, okay, so, <laughs> listen, it must've been pretty fucking bad if 30 of you in 10 seconds just said, hell yeah. Okay, <clears throat> okay, all right. So what I did was I muted the way that I got the phone on here, so I think I'm okay at the moment. Um, okay, 
so all right so look so he's sitting here we put the kid down we're talking and he is he is die hard cfl so you know i said hey that's great i don't have those in my store because they don't really have anything to do with growing cannabis and if you guys have a medical condition i would suggest that you just do what everybody else that's successful does and let it go right and so oh no he's like we're going to experiment and i was like you know experimenting is kind of expensive and you guys said you don't have a budget well i did this a long time ago with my dad so it's not quite like i don't know what i'm doing uh, so i said mom what kind of lights were you using with your dad and at first he didn't know and then he came up with an answer of a thousand watt lights i said excellent so what nutrients were you using what how many ppm no idea right so it wasn't like any of it doesn't know anything so i said look man there's a couple of ways we can go about this you confront like you know what you're doing i didn't tell you i know what i was doing oh you said you were helping your dad and you were working with him and you go, well, I didn't say I knew what I was doing. I said, well, you made it seem like it, right? You were front. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to. Okay. So I'm just going to suggest that if, if you guys are medical and you guys are sick, then experimenting and failing is a, well, I only got $80 right now. So I just need a light for two weeks and then I can come back and buy whatever it is you say. So I was like, great. So I pointed to the, uh, I pointed to the, uh, Okay, so the mic's working. Let's take, so what do I do? All right, let's try my wander cam. So, ah, oh dear, you just gotta love the wander cam. So I point to the 150 watt grow light because that CFL below it is 80 bucks, 70 bucks, but you also gotta buy the bulb for it. And if you notice, I use CFLs to light my store, but I don't use them to grow because there's that one box plus the one in this oh we sold that one yesterday sweet plus the demo one so there's the 150 grow light that i recommended i even told him i'd throw in the the bulb comes in it so it's like 150 watts for like i think it's like 85 i think it's like 85 bucks so they've got a space that's three by four something like that and it's real it's real short so they uh they can't really put uh okay let me know if you guys could hear me while i was walking around um okay so <laughs> he's got a real short space <clears throat> you know he's one of the guys who's got like two or three lights on it he wants to know how many cfls he's gonna have to buy from walmart and i told him well, go ask the guy at walmart i mean why are you asking me i don't even sell them here i'm like i only have the two for the one box of growing a flower so why are you asking me wherever you did your research go ask them he goes well, you know well i'm really hard-headed and I, I i go that's great but that doesn't make me obligated to teach you how to grow I, i'm really at this point there isn't anything i can do for you you have no money you have no clue you've got a family you're not willing to listen you have you know what I mean? He goes, well, I guess it's time for me to call Uber again. You know, I'm just the regular chain of shit. And just to be clear, I was that kid. I was him. I did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I, I, you know what I mean? That's why my former wife, my kid's mom, owns the grow boss. She owns the store. Why? Because I do whatever I want to do with almost without fear of consequences. Almost. As I got older, you, you get, you learn what consequences are. So here's a couple that comes in and he's just going to do whatever it is. And she just sits there and to some extent lets it happen. But you know, there'll be that point where, you know, that attitude doesn't work. It'll cost me a couple of jobs and eventually I'll have to grow up and learn not to behave like that. <laughs> and so <will> he. <laughs> I really wanted his $80. I really did want his $80. Like it, it wasn't that I didn't, um, it, it wasn't that I didn't want it, but I, I just want to point out that growing, you can't buy rims for a car you don't own. I mean, you have to wait until you get the car. Otherwise you're going to buy stuff twice. It's like buying a used vehicle. I mean, it still costs money. It may not be as much money up front as a new vehicle, but I bought an Expedition. It was $2,200 to replace the coils and the sensors and the, all the yada yada because I didn't want to do it. 
I prefer hot rods, not electronics. And so I sent it out. It was 2,200 bucks. Less than 2,200 bucks is a $200 a month payment for almost a year. You know what I mean? Like there's just some trade-offs and to look at me and say, I don't have any money. I want to spend 80 bucks and then I'll come back in two weeks and spend 80 bucks. I was like, dude, just give me the 80 bucks. Come back in two weeks. Give me another 80 bucks and pick up the right light. Oh, no, 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 no. I was like, dude, have you called Uber yet? So I'm just suggesting, oh, the guy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> the other guy I tossed was from, uh, was from last week. Oh, dude. I just loved Dude, this guy. Okay, the number's 84 Grow Boss if you want to call. The mic's a little wonky today if you want to call in. Um, so let's do, let's search Las Vegas Hydroponics. <laughs> and that's what you get. Great, Nate. Dude, you're always super funny. Great, Nate. I would have took the $80 and handed him the Grow Book and said, that's what you get. <laughs> No, I, listen, Intin, it's not that I'm honest. It's that there's two ways that this situation is going to go down when you come into my store. Either you're going to talk me to death or you're going to learn how to grow. Because otherwise, I'm going to just chase you out of here. Because if you don't have your lights, 859, hang on one sec. If you, if you don't have your lights, if you don't have all this going on, then... I'm not sure what, it's just speculation. I'm not really good at speculation. All right, eight, eight, five, nine. What can I do for you? Okay. Um, okay. So wait, wait, give me one sec. Okay. Would you repeat, would you repeat that question, please? Uh, I have a window AC in my field garden and, uh, I have light leaking through the vent, you know, where the air comes up and I, I don't know how to cover it without affecting the AC, you know, and I was just trying to get your input on it okay listen thanks for the call nobody can hear you so i'm going to repeat your question and answer it so he want he's got um 204 give me a minute um okay so better now that's better oh oh you could hear ah you guys could hear <clears throat> fuck there's a 30 second delay so i don't know oh, the fan noise is bad can hear the caller got it okay listen all right. So the caller wants to know he's got light coming in through the vent hole on his tent. And the trick is what you do is you get, you just get a piece of ducting. So this is thermoflow, right? This stuff's three ply thermoflow. It's got the mesh inside. Um, you don't, you don't need this stuff for the, for the vent, but on the bottom of the tent for the light, but you definitely want this stuff if you're venting hot or with pressure, like a lot of fan. But what you're going to do is you're just going to take like two feet of this off. And there's actually a trick to, uh, to do in this. Let me show you. Check this out. So there's actually a trick to, to cutting ducting uh, now if you buy the um it's right back up perfect okay so let me give you this i'm gonna do this boom check this out i got my demo station okay <laughs> i'm gonna practice how to do this on my qvc station blam okay so this is thermal flow this is thermal flow it is three ply thick like you you cannot you know what I mean? There we go. Okay, this is what happens if you don't cut it, right? It just continues to tear and it has this bra wire in it. So you can either tear one end like that and then cut it, pull it through like that. That's one way. Otherwise, to do it neatly, all you're supposed to do is just cut two rings in a row and then circle around once ah, two rings in a row ah that's what it was and then cut it from the other side there we go 
and then you get without having all ooh, without having all the parts and pieces left over from tearing it you get like a nice clean cut and then you just put a piece of tape on the end and the reason i'm showing you this part is because all you want to do is get a long piece like this well longer and you're just going to put it inside the tent so some of it hangs in and some of it hangs out and that will fill up the space in the hole so that the light doesn't go around the bend because if you look at the thermoflow it's got black inside for light absorption so heat and light stays inside the light goes away because it's non-reflective and gets absorbed the thing the whole thing is threaded so it takes the pressure of the centrifugal fans that's some um, uh that's why you use three ply thermoflow because it's like that oh shit i got to use my uh my station yay on my first show okay the mic sucks but i got to use the station okay okay it, it is out of focus yes um i i need a i'm gonna have to get an hd cam for my qvc station which means uh which means that I'm going to have to add another card. I had to add another USB card to this because I've got like 13 USB things between. Oh, there's no more wireless keyboard anymore because that shit wasn't working. So instead of one, I got two now. We got all that. We got the store cam and we got the close up QVC cam and we got close up cam and there's just so much stuff. No, I thought I heard the music. Damn. Okay. So, yeah. So, all that stuff. Tents are... Yeah, I like tents, too. Um, the the cost of Thermoflow, I think it's like 35 bucks for the 6-inch. And you could probably... You know, if you could pull it or something, you could probably get it down to, uh, like, buy some 4-inch. Yeah, I'm always a fan of tents because, uh, because then you can just hang the light and stuff. Okay. Woo. All right. So eventually I tell the kid, oh, I know what I was telling you. I, I know what I want to show you. Okay. So this is uh internet. This is okay. So let's click the map. I type in Las Vegas hydroponics and my ad shows up first because I have all my competitions names too. There's advance from advanced gardens, Las Vegas hydroponics. You know what I mean? Best hydroponic supply. There's hydro. So if you look for anybody, I always show up if you look for any of the stores. Okay. Um, oh, dude, let's check out. Dude, I just love my review. Okay. So, oh, you know what? In fact, let me do this just because. Okay, so let me just post this up. Um, let me just post this up. Why doesn't it let me leave a, leave this link? What's going on? Okay, live, why? Okay, so I should be able to, you should, oh, no, no, oh, I see, because that's, okay, because I'm in there as me for my account. Okay, um, all right, so that's the Grow Boss. Oh, it looks like, it looks like I left my own review. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that worked. Okay, so this guy comes in. If you, oh, dude, you're if you remember the film High Fidelity with John Cusack, you know the personality of the owner. Listen, the guy's already too smart. You know what I mean? He's right. But, and apparently sole employee of the store. Now he goes too far because I tossed him in seven minutes on a Sunday morning or some shit like that. Or Monday morning. Um, he's extremely knowledgeable. Thank you. But treats potential customers like idiots for asking questions when his words aren't clear. It's no wonder why someone as knowledgeable as him, as he seems to be runs a tiny shop with no employees or other customers. He drives away customers who want advice and are willing to drive 25 miles past 10 other hydro stops to see him. He apparently thinks if you aren't willing to plop down $500 for equipment without thinking about it first, you're an Amazon guy. I've only bought my supplies locally. He, bu he bought his supplies locally, but I guess this guy isn't confident in his own salesman. Just see how, for proof of how bad his business is, just see how he responds to every one-star review claiming to know exactly who the reviewer is. If his business were that successful, why bother responding with insults rather than trying to win back a customer? If he were busy, how would he remember each customer without even knowing when the person came in? 
Most businesses are too busy to remember each and every customer, but I guess Grow Boss isn't that busy. Save yourself the anguish of having to deal with this guy. If you want his knowledge, watch his videos, or borrow his book from someone. He's far more likable when you don't need to interact with him. Ah, oh, dude, I, I thank you. Thank you so much. That exactly express, expresses who I am. And I would just like to point out, since it was actually inaccurate about how busy I am and how you were standing there when I opened up the show and I tossed you after seven minutes, I would like to suggest that if I am a business owner, and this is about the money, because it is, then I would like to suggest that double makes you a douche. Because I'm actually a pretty nice guy. And I really do try to help, but there comes a point when you're so, let me just read my response because he's right. Oh, I do go after one star reviews because I hate you. I just want to be 100% clear. I hate you. And I will tell you why you are the worst type of customer, even though you think you are so awesome. First, I hate when customers come in and tell me how smart they are and then ask me dumb questions. Then you literally told me you had a PH degree and that you were an experienced grower. I think your super long wordy, correctly punctuated review makes my point. If not, your dumb John Cusack joke does. Who starts a one star review with a throwback reference? Someone who likes to hear themselves talk. I mean, if you're going to psychoanalyze me and not have any customers, let's say, dude, one star review, customer's an asshole, one star, you're in, you're out. Who the fuck dedicates that much time to a one star review? Somebody with no fucking life. That's why I tossed you from my store. Because I knew who you were the instant you came in. Next, you don't seem to remember, but literally the first and second thing out of your mouth was that you had no money and that you like free stuff. That immediately takes you out of the potential customer guy. You literally told me, dude, that you had a 400 watt streetlight from your friend that was like 25 years old that you got for free. So when you tell me that you buy stuff from other stores, you're a douche liar. That's why I tossed you from my store. Because in 90 seconds, I knew more about you then you're willing to admit about yourself. That's why you got tossed from my store, my friend. What the fuck do I care? You know what I mean? Like I probably did $1,500 that day at a 60% profit margin. You know what I mean? So then when you tell me you watch my videos and you read my books and that you are so smart, why do you keep asking me questions I answer in the book? The guy literally looks at me and says, hey, I know you like smart pots in your book, but what do you think about smart pots? I was like, what the fuck did you just ask me? Like he was staring at, like he was staring at my cloth pots and looks at me and says, hey, they're smart pot. He looks at me and says, hey, I know you like cloth pots in your book, but what do you think about cloth pots? <laughs> um, and then you tell me that you're sm so smart why do you keep asking me? Then why, then why do you keep asking me questions I answer in the book? Besides, what successful PhD can't afford a $150 light? Because that's what you were looking at, the four foot eight bulb T5. I have one used. One used. Oh, nope, it got sold. I had one four foot eight bulb T5 that got sold. Anyway, it's 150 fucking bucks. You got a PhD. You can't afford 150 bucks, douche. Then sir, you told me that you were a vet and I do try to be extra respectful to vets, but I don't think you understand just how crazy you are. It's a serious thing. And I know you will disagree because you think you are clever, articulate, and super smart. But I would like to point out just how inappropriate you, sir, you are. Sir, did you realize that not only, this was a 65 year old guy that brought a five year old girl into a hydroponics store, cannabis grow store, and you were aggressively talking about cannabis in front of her. Aggressively, sir. And you were only getting more aggressive the longer you were here. But that's not even the bad part. In fact,
The fact that your kid did not even want to be here and was disrupting the process and your flow was not even the bad part. And that's fairly bad. But every time that kid tried to say something, you interrupted her, corrected her. A little fine, real fucking kid saying babbling and you're correcting her. And then you answered the questions for her. I was like, would you like a glass of water? And she started to say something. You cut her off. Dude, you're a douche. You're a douche. That makes you a controlling, dominating freak. And that's why I tossed you, sir, because you are a know-it-all, dominating, controlling, PhD fuck that thinks he's better than everybody else. And I seriously felt so bad for that kid that I was ready to come across the counter and beat you. You don't care because you're used to everybody hating you, hating your cheap ass everywhere you go. I mean, think about all the people that spit in your food at a fast food restaurant. But that poor kid, as for employees and additional customers, seems super arrogant of you to assume I have neither just because I immediately recognized and called you out for the douche you are and tossed you in less than seven minutes. Your review also smacks of desperation with respect to your speculation on my employees and customers. And that's why I tossed you from my store, sir. Just wanted to know that you are a weird dude, that your kid is probably going to grow up whack as fuck and as weird as you. And thank you for your military service. Oh, the next consult, of course, is five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. What's that? Five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. What's that? Five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. I'm sure there's a one star. Oh, one star. He tried to close the store while I was there. Just need to get rid of this guy. I probably didn't mumble that. I probably said, if you show up five minutes before I close with a bunch of questions, you're probably, oh, dude, you're a homeless guy on foot with a backpack and all you wanted to do was charge your phone. I'd be stupid to let you in my store. Dude, it wasn't even, you know what I mean? Came in a couple of years ago. This guy's came in a couple of years ago for a year, for a horrible used light. How stupid are you that you bought a horrible used light? Listen, <laughs> there's, I've got 46 reviews and a four and a half star rating. I just want to go over again that, that, uh, that, that it's you. It's you every day of the week, sir, and it's been you every day of your life. What you think you're doing is not how the rest of the world sees you. That's why there's no point in me interacting with you. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you don't go to a grocery store and ask the the, the wait ask the checkout person for recipes and advice on stuff for how long. You know what I mean? Like you don't. Do you ask like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, you go in the fucking grocery store, you put some shit in your cart. Now you got to check it out yourself and get, get the fuck out. Uh, all I'm suggesting is, uh, all I'm suggesting is that, uh, um, <laughs> that I just want to remind you, sir, that I hate you. And I thank you very much for your military service. It's, um, you know, it's a duality, dude. I can hate you and appreciate you just like my customers. I can not like and appreciate my customers all at the same time. Like you guys do me. There comes a certain amount. Of, listen, you have to allow for great variances in personality without getting frustrated. Everybody is allowed to be who they want to be. I didn't like kick them in the ass, push them down and tell them to get the fuck out. But it was a weird interaction with that dude. It was seriously weird. So I did. I'm like, hey, you're on your way out. Why don't you take a water? Cause I keep that fridge up front. I get, Hey, on the way out, grab a water. Mm. I answered that in the book. You said you read it. If you've got a PhD, why are you asking me the same question over and over? You know what I mean? Like I'm a paramedic nurse. I already know how this is going to turn out. So I'm just suggesting that in a lot of cases that the people are never going to be able to grow because they're so whack. It's tough to be a good dog owner. If you're not the leader, it's tough to train a dog if you're, if you don't know how to train somebody. And once you know how to train somebody that sort of makes you the leader, you know what I mean? Like you have to understand how people operate. If you want to be in charge of the situation. Oh fuck. It's 10 o'clock. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. I didn't even realize it was 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh yeah. So. I guess that 
is another wonderful Grow Boss show. <clears throat> I will work on the mic, try to figure out how it to make it better. I'll take, we'll pick up the calls. Tomorrow's a two hour show. Oh, fuck. I was going to tell you guys, don't forget to like the channel. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Oh, one more thing I wanted to go over. Listen, I don't have any customers ever. So, uh, um, so you don't have to worry about that customer at the door. Um, cannabis, cannabis information, T I O N network, cannabis information network. Um, yeah. So this is sort of the business side of what I do. Here's a couple of videos that I put up for, uh, store owners and the vendors are sort of on the private side. Um, I've been working this same thing. Remember I was talking to you guys about what I would like to see you do. We've had some really good ideas. I've, I've sort of finished doing up the store, getting the studio. You see, I still need to replace one with a better camera. I'm gonna have to add a capture card to one of these things. So all that, you know what I mean? Details that just take more time. I'm going to be shooting another video with a bunch of clones in it. So I got just a couple of things I'm finishing up the Bushmaster video, but um, I still just want to point out that here's uh, here's um, uh, it's the cannabis information network. It's this video right here is a, uh, I'll post this one up for you. And then I'm really going to have to, uh, there you go. That's that. That's, uh, um, I got, uh, some pictures from queen bee. We'll probably try to go over tomorrow. Cause I've got two hours tomorrow. Um, and that's probably about that. I will work on. The microphone. Pa! I do like my headset. I really wish it was a little less. I bought another wireless something. I just sort of taped these two together to see if I could get that one that used to be on my shirt. Remember weeks ago it was on my shirt down here. I just tried to get that one up here. So I think I did a pretty good job. As always, listen, I appreciate you guys watching. It, it is the business is super funny. I'm glad I have you guys to share it with me. Um, I would suggest that the individual doesn't come back with the kid and come back and become a problem for me again. Don't do that because you're probably watching my show because you're a douche and that's my kind of luck. Don't come back to my store. I don't want you. I don't want your money. And the kid with the kid with the girlfriend kid, yeah, you neither. You don't. Yeah, go home and do your thing. Don't come in and bust my balls because I'm really not interested. All right, listen, for the rest of you, I totally am interested. You can buy my books. If you like the show, you can buy my books on, on thegrowboss.com. If you have any questions, you can always, here's a bunch of my books. They're super cheap. Here's the cannabis hotline. If you have questions and you want to talk to me direct, you can sign up for the cannabis hotline. I, of course, teach you guys how to do a mega meter. This is a mega meter that I sell and the ultimate RO. And if there's anything else I can do, I totally, um, I totally appreciate everything. Um, yeah, Jamon, you can send them in, but uh, you know what I mean? Like I may look at, you can send me pictures, Jamon, and I may look them at the show and I may not, I mean, you see how quick the show went by today, but, uh, but if I don't, you can always sign up for a consult cause I will never ever look at them or respond to your email unless you sign up for a consult first. I'm way too busy. There's way too many of you. I totally appreciate the effort. Everybody, I will see you in the morning. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bah, I thought I was going to get a little bit of sound out of it.